And well guys, remember FSR 3 frame generation? Well, they're ruining it. And you might actually ask something like, why? Why are they ruining it? And I'll tell you. This. As you see, this insane frame time is the newest implementation of FSR 3 frame generation in Robocop Rogue City. And as you can see, the frame times are all messed up and the frame generation isn't working as it should. And this brings some questions to the table like, for example, do they actually test things before releasing them? Because I'm pretty sure that if people were testing FSR 3 frame generation, if they, they had people testing that, they would see that it wasn't working. What the fuck is this piece of shit? The second thing has to do with a patch 4 of Robocop that added AMD FSR 3.03. And I don't sincerely, I don't really know sincerely if the issue is with, uh, with the FSR version or if it was with the game implementation that was poor. And we've seen so many game implementation of FSR 3 frame generation and it works as it should. For example, Starfield works well, Farming Simulator works well, uh, the Taylor's Principle 2 works well, and even if you are using mods, the frame generation will work as intended. So once again, I don't really know if it has to do with a bad implementation like these ones that we had uh, in the beginning with Forspoken and Immortals of Avium, where the implementation was completely messed up and it just wouldn't feel as it should feel and it required V-Sync, which is actually the opposite of what it is now, that does not, that, that you can't actually use it besides some game engines, you can't use it with with VSync, for example, Starfield allows you to use FSR 3 frame generation with VSync, but most titles don't. So I don't really know if it has to do with this version in particular, the 3.03, .03, or if it has to do with the game's implementation. And then once again, you might say, well, but it is just Robocop, so maybe it is a game implementation and things are working well. Well, I would think that way if Avatar didn't get an update, an FSR 3 update. And just because of that, I'm gonna leave you with today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. In this case, the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora title update 3, and it brings several notable improvements and so on. And one of them, let me see, uh, let me just go down. I believe that we have some technical up updates, yes. So PC, fixed FSR3 artifacts on the UI when frame generation was enabled. Once again, improved texture streaming. Once again, PC benchmark, fixed FPS tracking when FSR3 frame generation was enabled, once again. And we have several things regarding FSR3 frame generation. Like for example, this one, all platforms improves AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 FSR3 artifacts. And I believe this one refers to FSR3 upscaling, while the other ones refer to the frame generation alone. You can say, well, but there are improvements, things are running good. Well, they are running... yeah, they are run... no, no. But well, let's stop talking for a minute and let's just go into the game that I'm showing you right now. For example, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, this is how it is right now. I'm running at FSR3 ultra quality settings, not quality, just ultra quality which are much heavier. For example, when I'm looking here, I have 74 FPS, 74, 60 something, ultra settings, everything basically to the max, not everything, but the ultra preset, let's call it that. As for the video, it's 1440p, and we have ultra quality, FSR3 ultra quality, and once again, yeah, it is working as it should, 16 per nine, and 69, 68 something. Now, as soon as we enabled frame generation before, it would work very well. Now I actually have to go here and disable MS Afterburner because if I don't disable MS Afterburner, I am unable to enable or disable frame generation in this game. I don't really know why, but that's how it works. So let me just re-enable MS Afterburner. And it just crashed, yes. I, I did this before with Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and I didn't have a single crash in all, all game. 
So now as soon as I try to, to do something enabling frame generation and so on, it crashes. And this shows once again how buggy it is to begin with, now with this new implementation. So now once again, we're running frame generation enabled once again, and we're hovering, for example, here in this scene at 144. Now, as soon as I look at the leaves, for example, uh, I look at the leaves and everything seems high refresh rate, everything is working fine. But as soon as I start moving the camera, I mean, it just feels much, much worse than it should feel. I mean, in, in most cases, I can actually see the tearing. And for example, here, when I'm looking at this side, 150 something, 140. I'm not outside of my monitor's refresh rate. And I can tell it right away that this doesn't even feel like real 120 FPS, let alone 150 or 160. Maybe um, FreeSync just isn't working as it should. Even if I turn my monitor here, yes, I'm at 140 FPS. Uh, and although FreeSync shows around that 138, 140, it just isn't working properly. As soon as I move the camera, things are really, really messed up. So this is the, the most recent implementation of Avatar that works like crap. It works way, way worse than it worked before. Way worse. And if you think that's bad, look at this. Now we're at Robocop, we're running Robocop Rock City once again, and we're running over 120 FPS with TSR, um, with TSR set to 67%, so basically upscaling, basically TSR, TSR quality, and TSR quality works very, very well with epic settings, lumen, and high lumen reflections, high quality or high fidelity lumen reflections. I actually have the camera in front of the monitor, so I can't read. Uh, and I can tell you right away that, for example, we're running 120 FPS, and oh, we, this is... This is just silky smooth. And remember that we're running at 140 in Avatar and it was way, 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 way worse, worse than, than this. this. For example, even at 110, 115, this is just butter smooth. But those 140 and 150 in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora just weren't working well. They weren't smooth at all. And I repeat, at all. So the game is quite heavy, but it works great here. As soon as I go, for example, and use frame generation, not, I mean, for FSR3, no frame generation, quality mode, instead of TSR, okay, the same applies, the, uh, fr uh, FSR3 in this title, I compared it a bit, and in some, cases it, in some cases it is better, in some cases it is worse compared to TSR, and once again, silk is smooth, the experience is just very, very good. 100 and something FPS, very, very good. But as soon as I enable frame generation, as you can see, frame generation on, the frame time gets completely messed up already. Instead of having a flat line like we had before and the silky smooth experience, we have this completely messed up frame time like the first iter iterations that we had with Forspoken and Immortals of Avium. Although when using Forspoken and Immortals of Avium, you could actually use V-Sync and when using V-Sync it would work much better. On this case on Robocop, yeah, not really. I'm running 160 FPS and it runs worse. It has less fluidity than what I was running before at 115. So once again, 115 FPS without frame generation, but with a flat line in terms of frame times, would feel much, much better than 170, 180 FPS with frame generation. Once again, because the, the frame time is completely messed up. Just, it is broken to the bones. Look at this. It just isn't smooth at all. As soon as I disable frame generation once again, the frame timeline gets almost smooth, basically flatten, flattens out, and oh Jesus, yes, so much fluidity. Once again, at 114, 115, it is much smoother than the than the implementation that we have with FSR. And once again, that's because the frame timeline, because the frame timeline being completely messed up, just ruins the experience, and you won't feel the the fluidity, the smoothness of frame generation in increasing the frames in order to give you more fluidity, higher hertz because of higher FPS. You won't feel it, and it will just look way way worse. And I mean. This is this is without frame generation and 130 FPS are just insane and look much, much better than the, even 110 FPS or 100 FPS look much better than frame generation here in this game because once again, the implementation 
is broken, they're running it, and I don't really know why, but it seems like the Robocop team isn't testing anything. Because, I mean, there's no reason for them to release FSR3 in this state if they were testing things. It's like they, they didn't even test it. Damn. Damn. And now just to finish this video with Starfield, in order to show you what I meant with fluidity once again, for example, if we go to the video settings, sorry, I have the camera in front, we have, for example, 75% render resolution, which is a bit above the quality settings in terms of upscaling, FSR3 enabled, but like I told you before, Starfield allows you to use frame generation with VSync. Now I can disable VSync, for example, and I can disable frame generation. Now in this scenario, I'm having 113, 114 FPS, and the game feels smooth, definitely. Yeah, not bad at all, it works well in Neon. Oh, sorry about that, just forget about me. As soon as I enable, let's say, I enable frame generation, bam, frame generation, and the FPS shoot up to almost 200. So from 100 and something to 200 FPS. Even outside of the, of the refresh rate of the monitor, it is still much, much more fluid than the, the Avatar implementation, meaning that it is working, unlike the, the most recent Avatar implementation. So it is still fluid, but it has some tearing. I can go, for example, to he, to the settings and enable VSync. As soon as I enable VSync, in terms of FPS, and I repeat, in terms of FPS, it will be much better. And I can tell you right away that playing at 160 FPS with frame generation is much better than playing at 110 without it. It just feels much more fluid. Definitely much, much better. We do have a bit more input latency due to VSync, of course. If we disable VSync, the input latency is way less. And we do have some frame spikes here and there, but that's because I'm recording, of course. But yeah, it is so, so much better. So much better as soon as I enable frame generation. And once again, in Robocop, as soon as I enable frame generation, it, it works way, way worse than native without it, basically. And the same applies now to Avatar that works perfectly, like we see here in Starfield, very, very fluid things working really really well um, and now it doesn't because of the new update so basically that's it they're ruining FSR 3 and I don't really know if it is due to the update of FSR 3 itself the 3.03 .03, or if it is just the game developers that are doing crap they might fix it soon I don't really know no one on their right minds would release an FSR 3 frame generation implementation like that sincerely no one it's, it's useless. Like that, it is useless, like the first implementations of Immortals of Avium and Forspoken. That's what I believe. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching my video rambling about how they are ruining FSR 3. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Implementations that were better before or that were good before are now worse, are now not working as they should. And new implementations like Robocop, some others are working fine. I'm not, I'm not talking about those because they are working fine, like the Starfield one and like some others that we had, once again, the Talos Principle, Farming Simulator 2022 and some other titles, frame generation is working perfectly, but in Robocop it is working like piss poor and previous implementations that were working like the Avatar one, the first that was working properly is now working, well, sadly bad. Sadly poorly. Sadly poorly. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know with what you think about this topic of this... Yeah, of these making things that were good bad, basically. And see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.